This video is for educational purposes. Abu Dhabi is the capital of the United Arab Emirates. It is also the capital of the Emirate of Abu Dhabi and the center of the Abu Dhabi metropolitan area. Abu Dhabi is the UAE's second most populous city after Dubai. The city of Abu Dhabi is located on an island in the Persian Gulf, off the central west coast. Most of the city and the emirate reside on the mainland connected to the rest of the country. As of 2021, Abu Dhabi's urban area had an estimated population of 1.5 million, out of 2.9 million in the emirate of Abu Dhabi, as of 2016. The Abu Dhabi Investment Authority is headquartered in the city, and was the world's third largest sovereign wealth fund in 2022. Abu Dhabi itself has over a trillion US dollars worth of assets under management in a combination of various sovereign wealth funds headquartered there. Kindly subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends and families. Abu Dhabi houses local and federal government offices and is the home of the United Arab Emirates government and the Supreme Council for Financial and Economic Affairs. The city is home to the UAE's president, a member of the Al Nayan family. Abu Dhabi's rapid development and urbanization, coupled with the massive oil and gas reserves and production and relatively high average income, have transformed it into a large, developed metropolis. It is the country's center of politics and industry, and a major culture and commerce center. Abu Dhabi accounts for about two-thirds of the roughly $503 billion UAE economy. The area surrounding Abu Dhabi is full of archaeological evidence from historical civilizations, such as the MNNAR culture, which dates back from the 3rd millennium BC. Other settlements were also found farther outside the modern city of Abu Dhabi, including the eastern and western regions of the emirate. Abu is Arabic for father, and Dhabi is the Arabic word for gazelle. Abu Dhabi means father of gazelle. It is thought that this name came about because of the abundance of gazelles in the area and a folk tale involving Shakbat bin Dayab al Nayan. The Bani Yas was originally centered on the Liwa oasis in the emirate's western region. This tribe was the most significant in the area, having over 20 subsections. In 1793, the ruling Al Bufala subsection migrated to the island of Abu Dhabi on the coast of the Persian Gulf due to the discovery of fresh water there. The genealogically senior family within this section was the Nayan family, which is now the ruling family of Abu Dhabi. The pearl diving business was a key industry prior to the discovery of oil reserves. According to a source about pearling, the Persian Gulf was the best location for pearls. Pearl divers dive for 1 to 3 minutes and would have dived as many as 30 times per day. Air tanks and any other sort of mechanical device was forbidden. The divers had a leather nose clip and leather coverings on their fingers and big toes to protect them while they searched for oysters. The divers were not paid for a day's work but received a portion of the season's earnings. In the 19th century, as a result of treaties, known as truces, which gave the coast its name, entered into between Great Britain and the sheikhs of the Arab states of the Persian Gulf, Britain became the predominant influence in the area. The main purpose of British interest was to protect the trade route to India from pirates, hence, the earlier name for the area, the Pirate Coast. After the suppression of piracy, other considerations came into play, such as a strategic need of the British to exclude other powers from the region. Following their withdrawal from India in 1947, the British maintained their influence in Abu Dhabi as interest in the oil potential of the Persian Gulf grew. In the mid to late 1930s, as the pearl trade declined, interest grew in the oil possibilities of the region. On January 5, 1936, Petroleum Development Trucial Coast Ltd, PDTC, an associate company of the Iraq Petroleum Company, entered into a concession agreement with the ruler, Sheikh Shakbat bin Sultan Al Nayan, to explore for oil. This was followed by a 75-year concession signed in January 1939. However, owing to the desert terrain, inland exploration was fraught with difficulties. In 1953, Darcy Exploration Company, the exploration arm of BP, obtained an offshore concession which was then transferred to a company created to operate the concession, Abu Dhabi Marine Areas ADMA, was a joint venture between BP and Company Francaise de Petrols, later Total. In 1958, using a marine drilling platform, the ADMA Enterprise, oil was struck in the Amshaf field at a depth of about 2,669 meters, 8,755 feet. This was followed in 1959 by PDTC's onshore discovery well at Merban No. 3. ADMA discovered the Buhasa oil field in 1962 and the Lower Zakam oil field in 1963. Today, in addition to the oil fields mentioned, the main producing fields onshore are Asab, Sahil and Shah, and offshore are Al Bundak and Abu Al Bukush. The city of Abu Dhabi is on the southeastern side of the Arabian Peninsula, adjoining the Persian Gulf. 
It is on an island less than 250 meters, 820 feet, from the mainland and is joined to the mainland by the Makta and Musafa bridges. A third, Sheikh Zayed Bridge, designed by Zaha Hadid, opened in late 2010. Abu Dhabi Island is also connected to Saadiyat Island by a five-lane motorway bridge. Al Mafrak Bridge connects the city to Reem Island and was completed in early 2011. This is a multi-layer interchange bridge and it has 27 lanes which allow roughly 25,000 automobiles to move per hour. There are three major bridges in the project, the largest has eight lanes, for leaving Abu Dhabi city and four coming in. Most of Abu Dhabi city is located on the island itself, but it has many suburban districts on the mainland, for example, Khalifa City A, B, and C, Khalifa City Al Raha Beach, Al Bahia City A, B, and C, Al Shahama, Al Raba, between two bridges, Baniyas, Shamka, Al Wafba and Musafa Residential. Gulf Waters of Abu Dhabi holds the world's largest population of Indo-Pacific humpback dolphins. To the east of the island is the Mangrove National Park, located on Al Kerm Corniche. Al Kerm Vukurmu is Arabic for the mangrove. Abu Dhabi has a hot desert climate, Koppen Climate Classification BWH. Sunny blue skies can be expected throughout the year. The months of June through September are generally extremely hot and humid with maximum temperatures averaging above 40 degrees Celsius 104 degrees Fahrenheit, mainly occurring during the peak summer months of July and August. During this time, sandstorms occur intermittently, in some cases reducing visibility to a few meters. The cooler season is from November to March, which ranges between moderately hot to mild. This period also sees dense fog on some days and a few days of rain. On average, January is the coolest month of the year, while August is the hottest. Since the Tropic of Cancer passes through the Emirate, the southern part falls within the tropics. However, despite the coolest month having an 18.8 degrees Celsius 65.8 degrees Fahrenheit average, its climate is far too dry to be classed as tropical. For its geography, Abu Dhabi has been twinned with Bethlehem, Palestine, Madrid, Spain, Houston, United States, Brisbane, Australia, Minsk, Belarus. Abu Dhabi City is the capital of the Emirate of Abu Dhabi, and the local government of Abu Dhabi is directly led by the ruler of Abu Dhabi. The ruler has the executive authority to issue local laws, create or merge government departments, and appoint heads of departments. The ruler of Abu Dhabi appoints the Abu Dhabi Executive Council to lead the day-to-day -day management of government affairs. The Department of Municipal Affairs is responsible for municipal affairs for the entire emirate. Abu Dhabi is part of the Central Capital District, which is separate from the eastern and western municipal regions of the Emirate of Abu Dhabi. The main settlement of the eastern region, officially Aline region since a decree by Sheikh Khalifa in March 2017, is Aline City, and that of the western region, officially Al Dafa region as per the same decree, is Madinat Zayed. The government of the Emirate of Abu Dhabi officially leads both the city and Greater Emirate with agencies operating out of Abu Dhabi with branches in other cities. The Abu Dhabi government has various agencies and organizations operating across the Emirate such as the Abu Dhabi Urban Planning Council and the Regulation and Supervision Bureau, which are responsible for infrastructure projects in the city. Because Abu Dhabi is the capital of the UAE, it also serves as the headquarters of the federal government of the United Arab Emirates, the office of the President of the United Arab Emirates, and seat of the Federal Supreme Council. The Abu Dhabi Government Media Office ADGMO, was formed in 2019 and is responsible for representing the government in the media, organizing press conferences for the Emirate and monitoring local and international media. It is a state-sponsored organization that communicates the latest developments in the capital and the Emirates' vision, values, and traditions. The city was planned under the guidance of Sheikh Zayed by Japanese architect Katsuhiko Takahashi in 1967 initially for a population of 40,000. The density of Abu Dhabi varies, with high employment density in the central area, high residential densities in central downtown and lower densities in the suburban districts. In the dense areas, most of the concentration is achieved with medium and high-rise buildings. Abu Dhabi skyscrapers such as the notable Burj Mohammed bin Rashid, World Trade Center Abu Dhabi, Etihad Towers, Abu Dhabi Investment Authority Tower, the National Bank of Abu Dhabi Headquarters, the Bainuna, Hilton Hotel, Tower, and the Etisalat Headquarters are usually found in the financial districts of Abu Dhabi. Other notable modern buildings include the Aldar Headquarters, the first circular skyscraper in the Middle East and the Emirates Palace with its design inspired by Arab heritage. Thank you for watching this video. Kindly subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends and families. See you in the next one.